أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن عليا ولي الله أشهد أن مولانا أمير المؤمنين وإمام المتكين عليا حجة الله هيا على السلام هيا على السلام هيا على الفلاح هيا على الفلاح هيا على خير العمل هيا على خير العمل الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن مولانا أمير المؤمنين وإمام المتقين عليا ولي الله أشهد أن عليا حجة الله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد حي على السلاح حي على السلاح حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح حي على خير العمل حي على خير العمل قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين 
ഇയാക്ക നബുദു വ ഇയാക്ക നസ്തഈൻ ഇഹ്ദിന സ്വറാത്തൽ മുസ്തഖീമ സ്വറാത്തൽ ലദീന നഅംത അലൈഹിം ഗൈറിൽ മഖ്ദൂബ അലൈഹിം വലദ് ദല്ലീൻ ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിർ റഹ്മാനിർ റഹീം ഇന്ന അൻസൽനാഹു ഫീ ലൈലത്തിൽ ഖദ്രി വ മാ അദ്രാക മാ ലൈലത്തിൽ ഖദ്ര ലൈലത്തിൽ ഖദ്രി ഖൈറും മിൻ അൽഫ് ഷഹർ تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر الله أكبر سبحان رب العظيم وبحمد سبحان رب العظيم وبحمد سبحان رب العظيم وبحمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد سمع الله لمن حميدا الله أكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد الله صلى على محمد وال محمد الله اكبر استغفر الله ربي واتوب اليه الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد ربي صلى على محمد وال محمد الله اكبر بحول الله وقوته اقوم واقعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبت يدا ابي لهب وتب ما اغنى عنه ماله وما كسب سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامراته حماله الحطب في جيدها حبل من مسد الله اكبر اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب الله اكبر سبحان رب العظيم وبحمد الله صلى على محمد وال محمد سمع الله لمن حمده الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد ربي صلى على محمد وال محمد الله اكبر استغفر الله ربي واتوب اليه الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد الله صلى على محمد وال محمد وعجل فرجهم الله اكبر الحمد لله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد بحول الله وقوته اقوم واقعد الله اكبر سبحان رب العظيم وبحمده سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد سمع الله لمن حمد الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد الله اكبر استغفر الله ربي واتوب اليه الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد الله صلى على محمد وال محمد وافعل بنا ما انت اهل ولا تفعل بنا ما نحن اهل يا اهل التقوى والمغفره يا ارحم الراحمين الله اكبر الحمد لله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليك ايها النبي ورحمه الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته الله اكبر 
Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.
الله اكبر الله اكبر اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اللهم صل على اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اللهم صل على اشهد ان مولانا امير المؤمنين وامام المتقين علي ولي الله اشهد ان عليا حجه الله اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد حي على الصلاه حي على الصلاه حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح حي على خير العمل حي على خير العمل قد قامت الصلاه قد قامت الصلاه الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله الله اكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمد الله مصل على محمد وآل محمد سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد ربي صلى على محمد وال محمد الله اكبر استغفر الله ربي واتوب اليه الله اكبر سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد الله صلى على محمد وال محمد الله اكبر بحول الله وقوته اقوم واقعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل اعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس اله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الله اكبر اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد اللهم بحق فاطمه وابيها وبعلها وبنيها والسر المستودع فيها صل على محمد وال محمد وافعل بنا ما ما انت اهله ولا تفعل بنا ما نحن اهله يا اهل تقوى والمغفره يا ارحم الراحمين الله اكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد ربي صل على محمد وال محمد الله اكبر استغفر الله ربي واتوب اليه الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمده سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله الله اكبر الحمد لله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد بحول الله وقوته اقوم واقعد سبحان الله الله اكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده سمع الله لمن حمده الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمد الله صلى على محمد وال محمد 
Allahu Akbar. Astaghfirullah Rabbi wa atubu ilayhi. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi al-a'la wa bihamdallahu wa salli ala muhammadin wa ala muhammad wa ajjil farajuhum. Allahu Akbar. Bihawlillahi wa kuwatihi. Aqumu wa aqa'ud. Subhana Allahu Akbar Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah Subhanallah, Rabbi Al-Azim Wa bihamdallah, wa salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad Sami'allahu liman hamida Allahu Akbar Subhanallah, Rabbi Al-A'la Wa bihamdallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah Allahu Akbar Astaghfirullah, Rabbi wa atubi ilayhi Allahu Akbar Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la wa bihamdallah wa salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum wa ahshurna ma'ahum wa ahlik a'adaahum Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر
Wal Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad Salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad A'udhu billahi minish shaytanil la'inir rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ar-Rahman Allama al-Qur'an خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بيوسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تتغوا في الميزان وقيموا الوزن بالكست ولا تكسروا الميزان والعرض وضعها للعنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبيانا ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من سلسال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ رَبُّ الْمَشْرِكَيْنِ وَرَبُّ الْمَغْرِبَيْنِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ مَرَجَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ يَلْتَقِيَانِ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخٌ لَا يَبْغِيَانْ فَبِعِيَّانَا يَرَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانْ يَخْرُجُوا مِنْهُمَا اللُّعْلُو وَالْمَرْجَانْ فَبِعِيَّانَا يَرَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانْ ولو الجوار المنشات في البحر كالعلام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان كل من علي عفان ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ يَسْأَلُوا مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ كُلَّ يَوْمٍ هُوَ فِي شَعْرٍ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ سَنَفْرُغُ لَكُمْ أَيُّهَا الثَّكَلَانِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ يَا مَعْشَرَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنسِ إِنِ اسْتَطَعْتُمْ أَنْ تَنْفُذُوا مِنْ أَقْتَارِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فَانْفُذُوا لَا تَنْفُذُونَ إِلَّا بِسُلْطَانِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ يُرْسَلُ عَلَيْكُمَا شُوَادٌ مِّن نَّارٍ وَنُحَاسٌ فَلَا تَنْتَصِرَانِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ فَإِذَا نِشَكَّتِ السَّمَاءُ فَكَانَتْ وَرْدَةً كَدْتِهَانِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ فَيَوْمَيْذٍ لَا يُسْعَلُوا عَنْ ذَنْبِهِ إِنْسٌ وَلَا جَآنِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ 
يُعْرَفُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ بِسِيمَاهُمْ فَيُخَذُ بِالنَّوَاسِ وَالْأَقْدَامِ فَبِأَيَّ لَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ هَذِهِ جَحَلَّمُ الَّتِي يُكَذِّبُ بِهَا الْمُجْرِمُونَ يتوفون بينها وبين حميم آن فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان ولمن خاف مقام ربي جنتان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان ذوات أفنان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فيما عينان تجريان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فيما من كل فاكهة زوجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان متكين على فرش بطائن آمن استبرك وجن الجنتين دان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فينا كاسرات الطرف لم يتمثهن إنس قبلهم ولا جان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان كعلنهن الياكوت والمرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان هل جزاء الإحسان إلا الإحسان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان ومن دوني ما جنتان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان مدهامتان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فيما عينان نظاختان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فيهما فاكية والنخل والرمان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فيهما خيرات حسان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان هور مكسورات في الخيام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان لم يتمثهن إنس قبلهم ولا أجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان متكئين على رفرف خزر وعبكري حسان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان تبارك اسم ربك ذي الجلال والإكرام صدق الله العلي العظيم رحم الله من كرع سورة مبارك ذو الفاتحة
اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم إني أسألك برحمتك التي وسعت كل شيء وبقوتك التي قهرت بها كل شيء وقضى لها كل شيء وظل لها كل شيء وبجبروتك التي غلبت بها كل شيء وبعزتك التي لا يقوم لها شيء وبعظمتك التي ملأت كل شيء وبسلطانك الذي على كل شيء وبوجهك الباقي بعد فناء كل شيء وبأسمائك التي ملأت أركان كل شيء وبعلمك الذي أهات بكل شيء وبنور وجهك الذي أضاء له كل شيء يا نور يا قدوس يا أول الأولين ويا آخر الآخرين اللهم اغفر لي الظنوب التي تحت كل اسم اللهم اغفر لي الظنوب التي تنزل النقم اللهم اغفر لي الظنوب التي تغير النعم اللهم اغفر لي الظنوب التي تحبس الدعاء اللهم اغفر لي الظنوب التي تنزل البلاء اللهم اغفر لكل ذنب اذنبته وكل خطيئه اخطاتها اللهم اني اتقرب اليك بذكرك واستشفع بك الى نفسك واسالك بجودك ان تدنيني من قربك وان توزئني شكرك وان تلحمني ذكرك اللهم اني اسالك سؤال خاضع متذلل خاشع ان تصامحني وترحمني وتجعلني بقسمك راضيا قانيا وفي جميع الاحوال متواضعا اللهم واسالك سؤال من اشتدت فاقته وانزل بك عند الشدائد هاجته واضم فيما عندك رغبته اللهم اضم سلطانك وعلى مكانك وخفي مكرك وظهر امرك وغلب قهرك وجرت قدرتك بلا يمكن الفرار من حكومتك اللهم لا اجد لذنوبي غافرا ولا لقبائه ساترا ولا لشيء من امل القبيح بالحسن مبدلا غيرك لا اله الا انت سبحانك وبحمدك ظلمت نفسي وتجرعت بجهلي وسكنت الى قديم ذكرك لي ومنك علي اللهم مولاي كم من قبيح سترت وكم من فاده من البلاء اقلت وكم من اثار وقيت وكم من مكروه دفعت وكم من ثناء جميع لست اهلا له نشرت اللهم اضم بلائي وافرط بي سوء حالي وقصرت باعمالي وقعدت بي اغلالي وهبسني النفع بعد املي وخدعتني الدنيا بغرورها ونفسي بجنايتها ومثالي يا سيدي فاسالك بعزتك ان لا يحجب عنك دعائي سوء املي وفيالي ولا تفضحني بخفي ما تلعت عليه من سر ولا تؤاجلني بالعقوبه بالعقوبه عقوبتي على ما عملته في خلواتي من سوء فعلي واساءتي ودوام تفريتي وجهالتي وكسرت الشهوات 
وغفلتي وكن اللهم بعزتك لي في كل الأهوال رؤوفا وألي في جميع العمور أطوفا إلهي وربي من لغيرك أسأله كشف الضر والنظر في أمري إلهي ومولاي أجريت علي حكما اتبعت فيه هوى نفسي ولم أحترس فيه من تزين عضوبي فغرني بما أهوى وأسأده على ذلك القضاء فتجاوزت بما جرى علي من ذلك بعض هدودك وخالفت بعض أوامرك فلك الحمد علي في جميع ذلك ولا حجة لي فيما جرى علي فيه قضاءك وألزمني حكمك وبلاءك وقد أتيتك يا إلهي بعد تقصيري وإسرافي ألا نفسي معتذرا نادما منكثرا مستقيلا مستغفرا منيبا مقرا مضعنا مضعنا معترفا لا أجد مفر مما كان مني ولا مفزعا أتوجه إليه في أمري غير قبولك عذري وإدخالك إياي في ساعة من رحمتك اللهم فاقبل عذري وارحم شدة ضري وفكني من شد وثاقي يا رب ارحم ضعف بدني ورقة جلدي ودقة عظمي يا من بدع خلقي وذكري وتربيتي وبري وتغذيتي حبني لابتداء كرمك وسالف برك بي يا إلهي وسيدي وربي أتراك معظب بنارك بعد توحيدك وبعد من توى عليه قلبي من معرفتك ولهج به لسان من ذكرك وأعتقده ضمير من حبك وبعد صدق اعترافي ودعائي خاضعا لربوبيتك هيهات أنت أكرم من أن تضي من ربيته أو تبعد من أدنيته أو تشرد من آويته أو تسلم إلى البلاء من كفيته ورحمته وليت شعري يا سيدي وإلهي ومولاي أتسلت النار على وجوه قرت لأذمتك ساجدا وألا ألسن نتقت بتوهيدك صادقا وبشكرك ماضها وألا قلوب اعترفت بإلهيتك محققا وألا ذمائر حوت من العلم بك حتى تسارت قاشئا وألا جوار يسعت إلى أوتان تعبدك طاعيا وأشارت باستغفارك مضعنا ما هكذا الذنوبك ولا أخبرنا بفضلك أنك يا كريم يا ربي وأنت تعلم ضعفي أن قليل من بلاء الدنيا وأقوباتها وما يجري فيها من المكاره على أهلها ألا أن ذلك بلاء ومكروه قليل مقصوه يصير بقاه قصير مدته فكيف احتمال لبلاء الآخرة وجليل وقوع المكاره فيها وهو بلاء تطول مدته ويدوم مقامه ولا يخفف عن أهله لأنه لا يكون إلا أن غضبك وانتقامك وسختك وهذا ما لا تقوم له السماوات والأرض يا سيدي فكيف لي وأنا عبدك الضعيف الذليل الحقير المسكين المستكين يا إلهي وربي وصيدي ومولاي لأي الأمور إليك أشكو ولما منها أذج وأبكي لأليم العذاب وشدته أم لطول البلاء ومدته فلئن سيرتني للعقوبات مع دائك وجمعت بيني وبين أهل بلائك وفرقت بيني وبين أهبائك وأوليائك فحبني يا إلهي وسيدي ومولاي وربي سبرت على عذابك فكيف أصبر على فراقك وحبني سبرت على حر نارك 
فکیف اصبر ان نظر الى کرامتک ام کیف اسکن فی النار و رجاء افوک فب عزتک یا سیدی و مولای اقسم سادکن لئن ترکتنی ناتقن لأذجن إليك بين أهل هذا جيد الآملين ولأسرخن إليك سراخ المستسرخين ولأبكين عليك بكاء الفاقدين ولا أنادينك أين كنت يا ولي المؤمنين يا غاية آمال الآرفين يا غياس المستغيسين يا حبيب قلوب الصادقين ويا إله الآلمين أفطراك سبحانك يا إلهي وبحمدك تسمع فيها صوت عبد المسلم سجن فيها بمخالفته وذاك تعم أضابها بمعصيته وهبس بين أطباقها بجرمه وجريرته وهو يضج إليك زجيجا مؤمل لرحمتك ويناديك بلسان أهل توحيدك ويتوصل إليك بربوبيتك يا مولاي فكيف يبقى في العذاب وهو يرجو ما سلف من حلمك أم كيف تعلمه النار وهو يعمل فضلك ورحمتك أم كيف يحرق لهيبها وأنت تسمع صوته وترى مكانه أم كيف يشتمل عليه زفيرها وأنت تعلم ضعفه أم كيف يتقلقل بين أتباقها وأنت تعلم صدقه أم كيف تزجره زبانيتها وهو يناديك يا رباه أم كيف يرجو فضلك في إدقه منها فتتركه فيها هيهات ما ذلك الذنوب ولا المعروف من فضلك ولا مشبه لما آملت به الموحدين من برك وإحسانك وباليقين أقطوا لولا ما حكمت به من تعظيب جاهديك وقضيت به من إقلاد مؤانديك لجألت النار كلها بردا وسلاما وما كانت لأهد فيها مقرا ولا مقاما لكنك تقدست أسماءك أقسمت أم تملأها من الكافرين من الجنة والناس أجمعين وأن تخلد فيها المؤاندين وأن تدل ثناؤك قلت مبتدئا وتتولت بالإنآم متكرما أفمن كان مؤمنا كمن كان فاسقا لا يستوون إلهي وصيدي فأسألك بالقدرة التي قدرتها وبالقضية التي هتمتها وهكمتها وغلبت من عليه أجريتها أن تهب لي في هذه الليلة وفي هذه الساعة كل جرم أجرمت وكل ذنب أذنبت وكل قبيه أسررت وكل جهل أملته كتمته أو أعلنت أخفيته أو أظهرت وكل سيئة أمرت بإثباتها الكرام الكاتبين الذين وكلتهم بحفظ ما يكون مني وجعلتهم شحودا علي ما أجباري وكنت أنت الرقيب علي من ورائهم والشاهد لما خفي عنه وبرحمتك أخفيته وبفضلك سترته وأن توفر حظي من كل خير أنزلته أو إحسان فضلته أو بر نشرته أو رزق بسطته أو ظنب تغفره أو خطأ تغتره يا ربي يا ربي يا رب يا إلهي وصيدي ومولاي ومالك رقي يا من بيده ناسيتي 
يا عليما بذري ومسكنتي يا خبيرا بفقري وفاقتي يا ربي يا ربي يا رب أسألك بحقك وقدسك وأعظم صفاتك وأسمائك أن تجعل أوقات من الليل والنهار بذكرك معمورا وبخدمتك موصولا وأعمال عندك مقبولا حتى تكون أعمالي وأورادي كلها بردا واحدا وهالي في خدمتك سرمدا يا سيدي يا من عليه مؤولي يا من إليه شكوت أهوالي يا ربي يا ربي يا رب قو على خدمتك جواري واشدد على العظيمة جواني وحب لي الجد في خشتك والدوام في الاتصال بخدمتك حتى أسرح إليك في ميادين السابقين وأسرع إليك في البارزين واشتاك إلى قربك في المشتاكين وأدنو منك دنو المخلصين وأخافك مخافة الموقنين واجتمع في جوارك مع المؤمنين اللهم ومن أرادني بسوء فأريد ومن كادني فكيد واجعلني من أحسن أبيدك نصيبا عندك وأقربهم منزلة من وأخصهم زلفة لديك فإنه لا ينال ذلك إلا بفضلك وجدلي بجودك واعطف علي بمجدك واحفظني برحمتك واجعل لساني بذكرك لهجا وقلبي بحبك مطيما ومن علي بحسن إجابتك وأقلني أسرتي واغفر ذلتي فإنك قضيت على إبادك بإبادتك وأمرتهم بدائك وضمنت لهم الإجابة فإليك يا ربي نسبت وجهي وإليك يا ربي مددت يدي فبعزتك استجب لي دعائي وبلغني مناي ولا تقطع من فضلك رجائي واكفني شر الجن والإنس من أعدائي يا سريع الرضا اغفر لمن لا يملك إلا الدعاء فإنك فآل لما تشاء يا من اسمه دواء وذكره شفاء وطاته غنى ارهم من رأس ماله الرجاء وسلاؤه البقاء يا سابغ النعام يا دافع النقام يا نور المستوحشين في الظلام يا آل من لا يؤلم سل على محمد وآل محمد وافعل بي ما أنت أهله وصلى الله على رسوله ولأئمة الميامين من آله وسلم تسليما كثيرا إلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات صواب الفاتحة والے محمد صلوات مزلوم بے وطن 
ये मेरा मोरा रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मोला रजा है है जिसको जहर लोगो मुसलमान दिया है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है सब आँखें करो बंद दुहाई है दुहाई एक बीबी आजादार हो यहाँ शाम से आई लिपटी है जनाजे से नहीं सर पेरदा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है आए हैं जनाजे पे नबी शाह उमम भी कुल सोमोर कया भी हम सोमाए कुंभी वो भी भी है कर बल में जली जिसकी अबा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मुसलमानों ने जहर के चमन को हर जहर दिया जैसे मेरे मौला हसन को दोहराई गई हाय वही इस पे जफा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मासूमाए कुम देती है रो रो के दुहाई हाय काश मेला दे कोई मुझे से मेरा भाई सुगरा की तरह हाय बहन जिसकी जुदा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मामून आबासी किया ना यत है ये लोगो हाय आले पयंबर से अदा वत है ये लोगो सैदो से जरा देखो ये मत की वफा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजनूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है 
रोते हैं फरिश्ते भी जमी और जमा भी है लोह कलम शिवरी कोनो मका भी खैर उन्ने सा किला लेके मातम की सदा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है हाय जिसको जह लोग मुसल माने दिया है मजलूम बेवतन ये मेरा मौला रजा है बर मोहम्मद वाले मोहम्मद सलवात Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Our visiting speaker Sheikh Abbas Ismail respected elders dear brothers and sisters in Iman assalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Sir Fatiha is requested for marhumin listed on the screen as well as all other marhumin surah mubarak al fatiha The Wash Five Marys is requested for all those in need here and elsewhere, as well as those listed on the screen. Let us recite together. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amma yujibul mustarra ida daa huwa yakhshifu su. Amma yujibul mustarra ida daa huwa yakhshifu su. Amma yujibul mustarra ida daa. ويغشف السوء أما يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه ويغشف السوء أما يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه ويغشف السوء يا الله Before tonight's majlis, I'd like to invite Brother Ali Hassan Ali of Al Ain to please come forward and address the community. Bar Muhammad wa Al Muhammad salawat. My elders, my brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu Alaikum. Um, you may have remembered I was here for about uh, roughly about two months ago uh, in the middle of our ten, uh, ten nights of Muharram, uh, speaking to you about our campaign for Alain. Um, those of you who were not present during that time, I'll quickly provide an overview of what the organization is that I represent, um, what it stands for, and uh, um, share with you some news about the organization. Um, Al Ain Social Care Foundation is an organization that was started by His Eminence Sayyid Sistani himself. May Allah uh, give him long life and keep him protected. Um, it was started uh, by himself and it continues to be monitored by him even as of today. He receives quarterly updates on this organization the organization is essentially an organization that is dedicated towards um, empowering orphan children. It is a surgical focus into simply empowering orphan children globally. This is not an organization that is just for Iraq or anyone else. It is a global organization. We sponsor about a, more than 100,000 children uh, globally today. Yes, predominantly is uh, they are in Iraq, but that is where the best practice model was established, and now it's expanding globally to Afghanistan, to Ghana, uh, soon, inshallah, Yemen, East Africa, uh, and India, Pakistan as well. Um, we are not an orphanage. We are an organization where we believe in empowering these children so that they do not have to make a choice whether I should be going to school 
or I should be feeding my family. That choice normally falls upon the head of household once the father passes away. That child, that boy who is left as a head of household, many times has to make that choice. And this organization stands for that child not having to make that choice through our supporters. Now, how do we do that? Um, we basically, through our support, we provide financial support, we provide health care to these children, safe housing, educational and academic support, vocational training, uh, and psychological rehabilitation. A lot of these children, as you can imagine, have seen their parents killed in front of their faces. And you can just imagine the trauma that it goes with uh, to just focus on education or just focus on daily lives and daily activities when you're seen, when you experience such trauma. Elaine has an entire, um, has 12 centers all across Iraq right now that are dedicated towards providing the psychological um, rehabilitation to these children to ensure that, that these kids have everything in life to, to succeed beyond where they are today. And nothing of their past should dictate their future. Um, I mean, I, that's the background. I want to tell you the impact of your support. Um, here you see, you will see children in classes. This is, again, the children who are, um, who are sponsored by Al Ain, and there are 1,250 orphan youth sponsored by Al Ain through your support that are excelling academically in subjects such as medicine, pharmacy, engineering, and law. We are helping. To, well, Al Ain is helping to equip them with the necessary tools for success in their university studies, ensuring a promising future awaits them. Now, these kids, again, none of this will be available through your support. Um, so many of these children have gone on to become engineers, doctors, and they've come back around to sponsor their own children as, as a means of paying forward. Um, I'll tell you th this little story here before I, 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 I leave you soon. This is nine-year-old Samad from Kabul, Afghanistan. Samad used to work as a rug maker with the rest of the family to earn a living. Samad is nine years old. He used to work as a rug maker with his family. It was hard work. His back and shoulders always hurt. He would go to school feeling really tired and unable to concentrate. This is a nine-year-old me. I'm just, I'm just reiterating that. How many of us have nine-year-old kids? And this child has to make that decision that I, I have to go to work for my family to survive. Thanks to Alain's sponsorship fund and through your support, someone no longer needs to work as he can finally enjoy school, especially math, which is his favorite subject. Someone recently visited the Al Ain office in Afghanistan and said his favorite part of the experience was receiving a new, new clothes, shoes, and a soccer ball to play with. This is the impact of your, your support, what we need. We empower women as well, young, young girls, um, widowed mothers, whether it's pastry making, embroidery, handcrafts, informational technology skills, or one of many other courses available. Our Luminous Star Centers are empowering orphan young girls and as well as their widowed mothers to turn their passion into sources of independent living. Many of these individuals are today creating crafts through these Luminous Star Centers and literally selling it on Etsy to earn a living. And alhamdulillah, they are very successful. Um, those who have become pastry chefs, are, are, we have a contract with local uh, restaurants in Iraq that they're selling their uh, their uh, creations with. These are, again, we had 12 Luminous Star Centers being built. Uh, seven have already completed. Uh, the remaining uh, are in progress. And this is just an example of the impact that your donation can create. As I had mentioned before, uh, we are funded through the Ijaza of Sayyid Sistani. He does not fund us in, uh, as far as running our operations. Our, all he pro provides us is a blessing of his ijaza, uh, where we can collect both Sameh Imam and Sameh Sadat. 100% of what we collect for that is used towards these programs. And alhamdulillah, as a result of that, 
all he's taking care of for us is the cost of running our organization. But outside of that, uh, we accept homes, both parts, sadaqah, zakat, kafara, and any other religious Jews that you may have. We encourage you to please download our app to um, use the sadaqah feature uh, through the ijazah that Sayyid Sistani has provided us. Alhamdulillah, we have the blessing of sadaqah makbuta. Uh, some of you may remember when I had spoken about this earlier. Sadaqah makbuta is essentially a reward that you reap immediately as soon as you give the sadaqah. A lot of us know that when you give sadaqah, that you don't really reap the benefit until that individual has received it in his or her hand. Um, and um, with Sayyid Sistani's uh, ijazah and his confidence in the organization, he has actually said that you place a single dollar in that Al Ain sadaqah box or you give through the app in which we give on behalf of you into a sadaqah box. It is equivalent to you giving this money in my hand because I am the guardian of these orphan children. And it is equivalent to you giving it to me. Uh, we encourage you, Mumin, to please download the app, um, visit our website to learn about our organization. And I'll, I'll leave you with one quick fact. I was here about two months ago, roughly, um, in the middle of uh, the 10 nights. Since then, 500,000 children have died out of hunger or malnutrition. 500,000 children. This is an international monitoring agency's number that 3.1 million children a year are dying uh, of hunger and malnutrition. Um, Alhamdulillah, with our campaign that we have gotten to, uh, that we had set upon us, um, the target that we had set on us of uh, lifting 1,000 children out of poverty, at the beginning of Muharram, we are at 76% towards our goal. We have 235 children left. I mean, we, it's, it's a daunting task, I understand that. But every little bit counts, every little bit. And even if you, you cannot afford it, get 10 friends together, put $7 each a month, you have $70 and you just sponsor the child. You lifted that child out of poverty. If you recall, that is equivalent to $2.20 a day to lift a child out of poverty. And that's all it needs. There are many ways you can help. It, it is, there are many non-financial ways you can help as well. You can volunteer with us. Um, we also have, we are hiring a lot of positions. Please visit our website uh, to learn more about uh, Alain and how you can help and how you can get involved. Uh, I'll be here today, inshallah, uh, I'll be available. Many of you know how to reach me. If not, please speak to management and they can they know how to get in touch with me. Um, I thank you for your time. And uh, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Brother Ali, for that presentation. At this time, let us invite Sheikh Abbas Ismail to please come forward for tonight's majlis. Bar Muhammad wa Muhammad Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen. خاتم النبيين شفيع المذنبين رحمة للعالمين مولانا وسيدنا أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرض مولانا حجة ابن الحسن أرواحنا له الفداء وعجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين 
اما بعد فقد قال رسول الله صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم اللہ مسل علی محمد و علی محمد ستدفن و بدعتم منی بخراسان ما زارہ مکروب اللہ نفس اللہ عز و جل کربہ ولا مذنب اللہ غفر اللہ لہو ذنوبہ Respected elders, brothers and sisters in Islam, Imam Raza is unique amongst the A'imma of Ahlul Bayt Alayhimussalam. Imam Raza is unique from a number of angles. For example, the areas that Imam Raza traveled into in his blessed life, no other Imam went to those areas. The time he spent in those far away lands from the traditional Muslim Arab lands, no other Imam spent. Where he left this world, where he was martyred and he is now buried, is further than any of the other traditional Muslim lands. Of course, he's the only Imam buried in Iran. And sometimes when you go to the Haram of Imam Rida and you see the splendor and the glory and the size and the <laughs> magnificence of that place, sometimes we think, you know, if only other Imams would have been buried in this land, then God knows what kind of harams we would have had today. But Allah knows best. He has a plan. He knows where to put people. He knows where they should leave this world, where they will be buried. But these are only our thoughts. The life of Imam Radha is a unique life. His ziyarat is also a unique ziyarat. Azizan, you'll be aware that from amongst all of the imams of Ahlul Bayt, there are two imams whose ziyarat is mostly mentioned with fazilat, with sawab, with emphasis. This is number one, Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Number two, Imam al-Ridha alayhi salatu wa salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad. These two ziyarats, they stand out. Now in today's lecture, I want to share with you some of the teachings we have regarding Imam Ridha and his ziyarat and share with you some of the amazing effects of this ziyarat. And inshallah, maybe, who knows, we get such a motivation that Allah grants us tawfiq to visit Imam Ali ibn Musa Ridha, inshaAllah. The first thing that we come across is that the za'ir of Imam, he gained some very, very special characteristics. Someone actually came to our ninth Imam, the son of the eighth Imam, Imam Muhammad Taqi, alayhi salatu wa salam. Allahumma salla ala Muhammad wa this person had heard a lot about the ziyarat and the sawab of the ziyarat of the eighth imam. By that time, eighth imam has become shaheed. Ninth imam's imamat is going on. He comes to the ninth imam and he says, Mawla, an Ali ibn Mahziyar, Ali ibn Mahziyar, the famous companion, he comes to Imam Jawad. He says, Mawla, qala kultu li Abi Ja'far. I said to Imam Jawad, ju'iltu fidak. May I be sacrificed for you? I have a question. Ziyaratu ridha afdal. Is going for ziyarah to your father, Imam Ridha, better am ziyarah to Abi Abdullah? Or going for ziyarah to Karbala for Imam Hussein alayhi salam? Usually we would, hands down, always say that Imam Hussein ziyarah is the most emphasized. Listen to the jawab of Imam Jawad. Faqala ziyarah to Abi Afdal. The ziyarah of my father, Imam Ridha, is more superior than the ziyarah of Imam Hussein. In some riwayat we have this. In some riwayat, we have this emphasis for the ziyarat of the eighth imam. The man says to him, why Mawla? Why is it like that? We've heard so much about Imam Hussein al Why do you say that your father's ziyarat is so special? Listen to his answer. Only Ahlul Bayt can give this type of answer. He says the following. He says, look, Imam Hussein al -Islam, in his place absolutely revered, respected everything. But Imam Hussein al -Islam, is revered by all or at least we can say most of the Muslims, they revere him. You take any Muslim right now, whatever sect, whatever place they are from, whatever Islam they believe in, you ask them, what do you say about Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam, for example? And he'll tell you, oh yes, 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 we really love him. Grandson of Rasulullah, son of Ali ibn Abi Talib, one of the closest people to the Holy Prophet. The Holy Prophet loved him a lot. They will not say Imam, maybe, because they don't believe that. But they'll say, oh yeah, yes, we respect him. You go to Karbala today, you'll see many ahl sunnah are there doing the ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. But look what Imam Jawad says. He says, 
the ziyarat of my father is afdal and more meritorious because anna aba abdullah yazuruhu kullun nas everyone goes for the ziyarat of imam hussein everyone to a certain extent believes in the sanctity of imam hussein to whatever extent wa abi but as for my father la yazuruhu illa al khawas min al shi'a only the special 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 shias of amir al mu'minin will visit my father why is this allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad why is this well we need to look a little bit in history if you look at history you'll find every imam when you come to each and every imam you'll find some kind of split come to the fourth imam split fifth and sixth imams you'll find a split from sixth imam you'll find another split within shiaism imam talking about first of all sunni shia split then shias among shias splitting come to seventh imam another split waqifiyah sect for example come to the eighth imam no more splits no more splits amongst the shia not any major kind of split you will see amongst the shia umma from imam rida onwards so basically if you are hashd imami if you are eight imam believer more than likely you will be dawazda imami you will be 12 imam believer there are no more major splits after eighth imam so who visits imam ali ibn musarrida khawas min al shia the special the special the dawazda imamis they will visit my father ali ibn musarrida riwayat from imam jawad second thing for the fortunate person for the lucky person who gets the invitation from imam ali ibn musarrida to visit him imam ar rida says the following man zarani ala bu'di dari he says look who comes and takes the trouble to visit me in my far off place he recognizes that it is far off in my far off place he comes to visit me he takes the trouble to visit me ataituhu i will also visit him imam what we say imam aimma kisi ke makrooz nahi hote aimma are not ever indebted to anyone imams will never have anyone's udhar on them he says i will come to you come to visit me i will come to visit you where when how yawm al qiyama on the day of judgment fi thalathi mawatin i will come in those three very scary circumstances on the day of judgment hatta ukhallisahu min ahwaliha i will come at a time that i will rescue that person from the fears and the terrors of those moments which are those three places maula idha tatayara til kutub yaminan wa shimala when the books of deeds are being handed out some receive them in the right hand oh allah make us from the ashabul yamin the people of the right hand some people will receive it in their left some people will receive it from behind them some people it will be hanging over them at this critical time when there will be terror and chaos i will come to my zahir and i will relieve his fear and his terror second place wa in the sirat on the pule sirat when my zahir stands on that pule sirat he sees in front of him a long road ahead every place has a checkpoint every place he has to stop and give account every place he has to give hisab and kitab at that point i will be there for him number 2 number 3 wa in dal mizan when you go to weigh your deeds in front of allah when your deeds are put in that mizan that balance that scale when you are being checked that how good were you how bad were you what did you bring for your akhirat i will be there for you there was an alim Haj Ayatullah Sheikh Murtaza Hairi Ayatullah Murtaza Hairi Ayatullah Murtaza Hairi was a shiq Imam Riza lover to the nth degree of Imam Riza This alim he used to say himself my pleasure my precious thing in this world the thing that I look forward to is going for the ziyarat of Ali ibn Musa Riza any time he would meet someone if they were to tell him i'm from mashhad he would cry he had that much connection with mashhad and imam rida 
This alim, he managed to do the ziyarat of Imam Rida salam in his lifetime 70 times. 70 times he did the ziyarat of Mashhad. They say this is what happened to him. He had done 69. He was going for the 70th. When he was reciting ziyarat the 70th, 70th time, Imam Rada salam spoke to him and says, Oh my beloved, this is your final ziyarat. Next ziyarat, I will visit you. You don't visit me. He understood at that moment that this is my last ziyarat. After this, I'm not going to live long. I'm not long for this world. They say that after that ziyarat, he would come out of the haram, walk a few steps, run back inside. Come out of the haram, walk a few steps, run back inside. Come out of the haram, walk a few steps, run back. He could not take that sense of separation from Imam Rida. After that, he didn't live long. He passed away. He had a deal. He and the great, great, great Ayatollah Marashi Najafi, they had a deal. They said, whichever one of us goes first, he comes and reports to the other one what happened and what did they experience. They say that after this Agaya Murtaza Ha'iri passes away, he comes into the dream of one of his students. His student narrates the following. He says, I saw my Ustad, Ayatollah Ha'iri, in a dream after he had died. I said to him, Agha, tell me what happened. How was it? He said, let me tell you about my first night in the grave. My first night in the grave, two angels entered into my presence and they began to ask me questions. I became so terrified and I became so scared. I've never been that scared ever before. As they were beginning to speak, I heard from a long distance away, a voice was calling. The voice was saying, don't fear, don't fear, don't fear. And as he was saying, don't fear, don't fear, I could hear the voice getting closer. So I felt that the person is walking towards me. Keeps calling out, don't fear, don't fear, don't fear. When he reaches near me, the two angels see him and they leave. This man then comes to me and says to me, from now on, don't worry. These angels won't return. They have nothing more to do with you. I said, I'm very sorry, but tell me, who are you? He said, listen, let me just tell you this much. This was my first visitation. I owe you 69 more visitations. I will see you 69 more times. Aimma kisi ke makroos nahi rehte. Aimma do not stay indebted to, and you give something to Aimma alayhi salam, they'll give it back to you tenfold. Imam Riza, he will visit us. He has taken this on himself. He has told us that I will visit you at the most critical times. You want help in this world? You want ilm, for example? Then come to Khuzan al ilm. We are the treasure troves of knowledge. You want, for example, your love for Allah to increase? Then we are. We are the ones completely immersed in the love of Allah. Come to us. You want your akhlaq to improve? Well, we are Munta al Hilm. We are the uttermost, topmost people of forbearance and sabr and akhlaq. We will help you with this. Aimma alayhim salam. This is number two. Number three, with the salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Sometimes, Azizan, we go through life, we have difficulties. These difficulties sometimes get us down. We feel negative. Our heart feels heavy. One of the cures of this kind of feeling of heaviness, of a, a heart which is hurt, which is hurting in pain, is the ziyarat of Imam Raza. Rasulullah says, Satudfanu, soon. Rasulullah was when? Eight, eight generations before. He says, Satudfanu. Soon a part of me will be buried in Khurasan. Khurasan is Mashhad. A part of me will be buried in Khurasan. One who is grieving, who is hurting, who has pain, will visit him. Allah will remove all his grief and hurt and pain. 
Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allah will remove his grief and his pain. And the Muznib, someone who is a sinner, will go and visit him. Allah will forgive his sins. Azizan, the ziyarat of Imam Radha is something very, very special. Because Imam Radha is special. Imam Radha is very, very special. One more hadith in your, for your attention. This is from 7th Imam, Imam Musa ibn Ja'far alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala What is the extent, before I go into the hadith, what is the extent of the power of Allah? Is there any limit? Is there any extent? What is the extent of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What is the extent of the kindness and compassion? Can we put a quantity on it? No, he's unlimited. Listen to this. Imam Kazim says, Manzara Kabra Waladi Ali. One who visits the grave of my son Ali, meaning Imam Ridha. Kana lahu in the lahi kasabaina hajjatan mabrura. He will get the sawab of seventy accepted hajj rawi the the rawi means the reporter the narrator he got a bit shocked he got a bit surprised he says mola sabaina hajj 70 hajjes 70 hajjes <laughs> imam kazim blew him out of the park naam wa sabaina alf hajj 70 yes actually 70,000 hajjis. He says, Mawla, sabi'ina alfa hajj. 70,000 hajjis. He says, Rubba hajjatin la tukbal. And yes, 70,000 hajjis. Sometimes people do hajj and they are not accepted. These will be 70,000 accepted hajjis. Waman bata indahu laylatan. And if you go and you spend good time, quality time, you spend some time with Imam Murida. You sleep the night there, for example. You stay the night in his city. It is like someone who visits Allah on his throne. This person is now getting very disturbed. He says, Fakultu. I asked again. Like someone who visits God on his throne. He said, yes, indeed. إِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ And when the Day of Judgment comes, كَانَ عَلَىٰ أَرْشِ الرَّحْمَانِ أَرْبَعَةٌ مِّنَ الْأَوَّلِينَ You will see four people from the previous generations and four people from the later generations. As for the four from the previous, they will be فَنُوحٌ وَإِبْرَاهِيمٌ وَمُوسَى وَإِيسَى The great prophets of Allah. نُو نَبِي نُو نَبِي إِبْرَاهِيمٌ نَبِي مُوسَى نَبِي إِيسَىٰ وَأَمَّا الْأَرْبَعَ مِنَ الْآخِرِينَ As for those who are from the later generation, they are the following. Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam. Aliyun Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Hassan al-Mujtaba, Imam Hussain. These four are the ones from the latter generations. Alayhim wa sallam. ثُمَّ يَمُدَّ الْمِذْمَارِ فَيَقْعُدُ مَعَنَا Then these eight people, Four from the previous, four from the later. The Panjat and four people, four prophets. They will then lay out a sufra. They will then lay out a tablecloth. They will then host people. They will call people, come and sit with us. Enjoy with us. Come around the arsh of Allah and sit with us. Enjoy with us. Those who will come to sit with us are those who performed the ziyarat of the graves of the imams. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Illa anna a'alahum darajatan and from all of them who perform the different ziyarats of the different imams, from all of them, the highest in rank of all of these different zawar of the different aima, وَأَقْرَبَهُمْ And the closest of them to us will be زُوَّارُ قَبْرِ وَلَدِ عَلِيٍ عَلَيْهِ salam Will be the zawar of the grave of my son Ali ibn Musa al-Ridha alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. 
Azizan, have you ever thought why Nan Panthi, we've been taught from our childhood, in our culture, in our communities, in our excellent methods of our elders, may Allah bless their souls and give them a high station in the hereafter, why we were told always, we were brought up, do the ziyarat of Imam Hussein, Imam Rida, and Imam Zaman. Why? One of the reasons is this. One of the reasons is this. Imam Hussein ziyarat, heavily emphasized. Imam Rada ziyarat, heavily emphasized. Imam Zaman, of course, our current living Imam. Many people, they question, why only these three? Why not all 14? Baba, you want to do 14? Bismillah. No issue at all. There is no hadith, no riwayat which says only these three. There is no hadith, there is no riwayat that I have seen which says only salute these three. But let me tell you something. It's not wrong to salute these three at all. Awalana Muhammad. Awsatuna Muhammad. Kulluna Muhammad. We are saluting three representing 14. Sometimes we ziyarat, we do the ziyarat of one representing 14. We don't really differentiate here. This is just a good practice. I don't know why when the community has a good practice, someone has to come along and question something like this. It's a mustaha practice. Let people get on with it. It's not a bad thing at all. Someone who wants to do 14, bismillah, no issue at all. But someone who wants to do these three, it's their habit from childhood, let them get along with it. Let them get on with it, it's fine. We are still doing the ziyarat of Aima alayhi salam. But this is one of the reasons that we do this, that because it has been so heavily emphasized. When we stand for the ziyarat of Imam Radha, after our namazes, at different times, after majlis for example, what do we say? Let's have a look at some of these sentences with a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. So at least when we recite them, we recite with some ma'rifat and we know what we are saying. Assalamu alayka ya gharib al ghuraba. I give my salam to you, O oh, the one who is the most lonely of all the lonely ones. In other words, you, are, you have ended up somewhere very far from your hometown. No other imam is as far as you from their hometown. Mu'ina dhu'afa wal fuqara. Ya Imam Raza, I am standing here saying salam to you, bearing witness. You are the helper of the weak and the poor. We come to you as weak. We come to you as poor. Imam Radha, we are nothing. Imam Radha, our everything is you. Our life, our soul, our heart, our mind, our brain is you. Everything is you. Imam Radha, help us. We need your help. Ya Shamsa Shumus. Oh, the sun, S-U-N, the sun, the suraj of all the suns. You are the bright star of Ahlul Bayt. Anisan Nufus. You help the souls at the time of death. You help their souls at the time of death. Ayyuhal madafoon bi ardi Tus. Oh, the one buried in the far off land of Tus. Tus was Khurasan, Tus, Mashad. These are all referring to the same rough geographical area. Kun shafi ana wa shafi awalidayna. Be my intercessor and the intercessor for my parents as well on the Day of Judgment. Then we have, for example, this practice, imam zamin Koi safar ma jatu hoy, what do we do? imam zamin band. Right? When you go, when you get to your destination, open it, give it a sadqa. Where does this come from? How is imam imam zamin I want to share something with you. In one of his books, Sheikh Abbas Kummi narrates the following. He says that there was a very pious man called Haj Ali Baghdadi. And he had the good fortune to meet Imam Zaman, Ajjal Allah Ta'ala, Farajahu Sharif. Oh. Allahumma salam. Oh. In their conversation, in the course of their conversation, he says, I asked the 12th Imam a question. I said, Mawla, once I was in Mashhad, Haj Ali Baghdadi is saying, once I was in Mashhad, and I met another Zair, I met another pilgrim, and we started talking, and he was from Najaf. So I asked him a question, 
I said, brother, tell me. You know, we, you, you, when you're in ziyarat, you exchange stories, you, you ask each other, how was it for you? How was the haram for you? How was your ziyarat, etc., etc. I asked him, brother, how has it been for you? What do you expect from this ziyarat? You've done the ziyarat of Aitam. What do you expect? He says, wallah, I expect paradise. I said, how, do you, how can you justify this? Tell me more. He says, I've been here in Mashhad for two weeks. I have devoted two weeks in the haram of Imam Rida alayhi salam. Every day, I've been doing ziyarat, I've been doing my ibadat, I've been eating only the tabarrukat, the, the niyaz, the tabarruk, the fatiha that is given from the haram. Now this food which I have consumed, it has become part of my flesh. It has become part of my flesh, now I do not think Munkar and Nakir will have the guts to come near me. So Haj Ali Baghdadi says to Imam Zaman, he says, Mawla, I want to know, does this have any relevance? Does this have any truth? Can he really say this? Imam Zaman answered, Wallah, this is true because my grandfather, Imam Rada, is Imam Zamin. He is the protecting Imam. He protects those who go for his yarat, he protects them. Give something to Ahlul Bayt, see what you get in return. Do something for them, see how they repay you. In your day, throughout the day, throughout your prayers, your duas, after your namaz, even from this long distance away, we can always do the ziyarat of Imam Rida and gain that kind of connection and that sawab. One thing which we find, and I'll finish with this, one thing which we find, there's an amazing connection with Imam Raza and Shifaya Mariz. Khudaya, those who are, of us who are suffering with illnesses, oh Allah, we ask you for Shifa. There is an amazing connection of Imam with Shifaya Mariz. I was reading recently, there was a man, he was, doing, he was in the haram, and he sees that there's another guy who's at the wazoo, the, the wazoo area. And he's trying to do wazoo, but he's doing it completely wrong. He's doing it completely wrong. I said, I have to help this guy. He goes close to him, he says, Aga, this wazoo you're doing is wrong, it's incorrect. He looked at me, he answered me in English. I'm speaking Farsi, he's talking English. I don't know what he's saying, he doesn't know what I'm saying. So we called someone, we found someone who was a bilingual, and he helped us communicate. I said, you're doing wazoo wrong. He said, look, I don't know about this wazoo. I'm not even a Muslim, I'm a Christian. All I know, I am here to pay honor and homage to this great man. And I have been told that you have to wash in a certain way to go inside this great man's shrine. I asked him, you're a Christian. How have you come to know this great man? He says, let me tell you. He said, one day, he says, so I'm from America. I'm a Christian. I'm not part of your faith. My wife was suffering from a brain tumor. We had got the news from the doctor. Doctor said, she has six months. If I was you, I would take care of her, give her the best life possible in the next six months. She doesn't have more than six months. I went to work. I'm a pilot. I fly planes. I went to work. And I have a colleague who was called Imad. This Imad, I just knew him as a Muslim, but he turned out to be a Shia Muslim. He saw I was feeling down. He saw I was upset. He asked me, he said, what's up? You don't look right today. He said, look, this is what happened. The doctor said this, my wife's only got six months to live, I'm all stressed, I'm all worried. Imad said to me, don't worry, your wife will be fine. I said, Imad, listen, this one is beyond anyone. This has been sealed, six months she's got. Imad went to the head of that whatever aviation authority was or whatever airport it was. He went to the head of that division and they did something and he convinced that person and they changed some of the schedules. So Imad comes now back to this guy, this pilot. He said, look, 
I can see that in your schedule, you have these few flights coming up, correct? He said, yes, correct. He goes, do you mind if I make a couple of changes here and there? He said, no, go ahead. He said, look, one of your flights, it flies over this area. You'll be in a certain spot during your flight. That city down there is called Mashhad. When you fly over, there's a man there who is buried. That man's name is Ali ibn Musa Rida. When you are there, when you are flying over, look down. You may even see his shrine because, you know, it's a magnificent place. You may even see his shrine. When you are there, why don't you just tell him, Oh, Ali ibn Musa Rida, help me. My wife is in a problem. Help me out. He said, I, th I said, you know what, why not? I got no other option. All the doors are shut for me. So that day comes, he takes the flight, he flies the plane, he's over the skies of Mashhad and he speaks to Imam Rida. He lands his plane, he gets, out of, he gets off the plane, he goes to his hotel or wherever he was staying. He rings his wife to check how she is. His wife answers the phone and she begins to cry. He says, what's wrong? Is everything okay? She says, tell me one thing. Who is Imam Riza? Who is Imam Riza? I said to my wife, I don't know what you're saying. What do you mean? What's this word? She said, no, who is Imam Riza? I said, tell me, why? how do you know this word? She said to me, I was asleep. I was resting. A man came in to my dream and he told me, stand up. I said, I don't know who you are, but I can't stand up. I need to rest. The doctor has told me to rest. And when I rest and I sleep, I feel better. He said, I am telling you, stand up. She said, but who are you? He says, I am Imam Riza. I have a message for you. Number one, you are cured. Number two, tell your husband to give my salams to Imad, his colleague, he should tell Imad, any other marees you have, send them to me. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Any other bimar, any other marees, any other person suffering, send them to me. Imam Raza, a non-Muslim pilot who didn't know your name five minutes ago, has a one-minute conversation with you in the skies over your shrine, and this is what you reward him with. They do not take anyone's debt. They pay back. Ya Imam Raza, we ask you on this night, the night of your shahadat, Mawla, we ask you to grant our wishes, to answer our hajat, to ask Allah to forgive us, to cure our sicknesses, our illnesses, Whoever is giriftar, whoever is in any kind of trouble, oh Imam Raza, help them on this great night through your wasila, inshallah. Azadaran of Imam Hussein, Azadaran of Imam Rida alayhi salam, Mamun the accursed invited Imam Rida by force. Imam Rida did not have a choice. He dressed it in a way, he spun it in a way to say that Imam Radha is my successor. Imam Radha, from day one, he was tell people that I'm not going to succeed him. I know what his plan is. But slowly but surely, Imam Radha going to these far off lands, away from the traditional lands, it totally backfired on Mamun. The people were in love with Imam Radha. The people respected Imam Radha. The people could see a true leader from a fake leader. They could see that this leadership belongs with the family of Rasulullah, not with the family of Ma'moon. Ma'moon had enough of this. He tells Imam Rida, he calls him to his house. Imam Rida leaves his home. He says to his companion, Abba Salt. He says, oh Abba Salt, I am going towards Ma'moon's house. If you see me return, with a cloak, with my abba over my head and my face, then know that I am in my last moments. Imam Radha goes, the poison is administered. As the poison is administered into his blessed body, Imam Radha stands up and begins to walk. Mahmoon says, where are you going? He says, I am going to that place where you wish to send me. 
Imam Radha now walks back to his home. He has the covering over his head. His body is suffering. He is now in pain. He is now shivering. As he walks home, Abbas Salt sees him. Abbas Salt welcomes him. Imam Radha says to Abbas Salt, prepare my room. Help me to lie in my room. I need to rest. Abbas Salt begins to help Imam to lie down. Imam says, no, Abbas Salt, do not put me on my bed. Put me on the floor and remove even the carpets from the floor. He says, Mola, why on the floor? He says, I wish to feel something that my grandfather Hussein felt in Karbala. Lie me on the floor. Abbas Salt agrees. He lies Imam on the floor. Imam says to him, Abbas Salt, now I will begin doing the zikr of Allah. You are to leave this room. Do not enter again until you hear that I have stopped doing my zikr. Abbas Salt leaves. He closes the door. He stands guard at the door. He hears the zikr of Imam Radha. For a time, he keeps hearing the zikr of Imam Radha. When the zikr stops, he walks back into the room. When he walks into the room, he sees Imam Radha's body is there. Next to Imam Radha is a nine-year-old boy. He says, who are you? He says, I am the one who was predicted by my father that I will be his successor. He told you about me. Abbas Salt says, then how did you enter? I've been standing here. Imam Jawad enters through the power of Imamat and Wilayat. Abbas Salt looks at this scene. Here is the young Imam Jawad, ready to perform the funeral arrangements for Imam al -Ridha. I bet Imam Jawad at that moment must have felt, and he must have thought about his grandfather, Abba Abdullah in Karbala. Here Imam Ridha, in the far-off place, Gharibul Ghuraba, has his son with him to help him and to prepare his body for burial. Abba Abdullah Hil Hussein was that one shaheed of Ahlul Bayt. His body lay on the floor for two days. His body lay outside for two days. His body never received any kafan. His body was never properly attended to until Imam Sajjad came. This was Abba Abdullah. Assalamu alaikum ya Abba Abdullah. Matameh Hussein. Ajana Zahe Pito Sarehle Aza Ata Jana Zahe Fatima Kegar Se Nikla hetabut ye ro ehle aza ata jana zahe aage he abu sal khara. Rota hai sar peetta Kaisa ghazab ho gaya Aata jana zahye Shehre Khurasan me Mare gaye shahidi Veera madina hua Aata jana zahye Ahle falak saath hai Sar khule jibreel hai 
शोर यही है बपा आता जना जाए मामुने मलून ने जहर दिया शाह को जहर से मारा गया आता जना जा रोती है सर पीटती जारा है हमरा चली मातम करो शे का बपा आता जना जा करबला के बन में क्या कोई भी ऐसा न था कैसा न ताबूत उठा आता जना जा लाश तो पामाल हुई गोरो की टापो से कौन था जो केता आता जना जा शाहे हुरासान का आता जना जा भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती थी भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती थी भैया मेरे परदेसी ये कैसी खबर पाई भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती थी भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती थी भैया मेरे परदेसी ये कैसी खबर भैया मेरे सी मरने की तुम्हारी एक ऐसी खबर आई है दिल टुकड़े हो गया है भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती थी भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती थी भैया मेरे परदेसी ये कैसी खबर पाई भाई खुश निकले थे वतन से फिर आए ना वतन में खुश निकले थे वतन से फिर आए ना वतन में कैसा सफर हुआ है भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती थी भैया मेरे परदेसी ये कैसी खबर पाई भैया में आले नबी को कैसा जालिमों ने सताया आले नबी को कैसा जालिमों ने सताया आराम नहीं पाया भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती भैया मेरे परदेसी यूं फातिमा कहती थी भैया मेरे ये कैसी खबर पाई 
सी सर शाह कर बला का भी जुल्म से कटा था अहमद को आरू लाया भैया मेरे परदेसी यू फातिमा खोले कर गठरे में फरवा को दिखाऊं कैसे खोल कर गठरे में फरवा को दिखाऊं कैसे हे ये हिला शाय कासिम हे ये हिला शाय कासिम ये बताऊं कैसे खोल कर गठरे में फरवा को दिखाऊं कैसे खोल कर गठरे में फरवा को दिखाऊं कैसे खून से लाल हुई है सभी मकतल की जमी कहीं बाजू है पर सीना कहीं सर है कहीं जोर कर टुकर बदन फिर से बनाऊं कैसे है ये हिला शाय कासिम है ये हिला शाय कासिम ये बताऊं कैसे खोल कर गठरी में फरवा को दिखाऊं कैसे खोल कर गठरी में फरवा को कैसे मेरे भाई की निशानी मेरा तारा था यही बेवा मादर के बुरा पे का सहारा था यही माँ का दुखता हुआ दिल और दुखाऊं कैसे है ये हिला शाय कासिम है ये हिला शाय कासिम ये बताऊं कैसे खोल कर गठरी में फरवा को दिखाऊं कैसे खोल कर गठरी में फरवा को दिखाऊं सख्त मुश्किल में हूँ मुश्किल से चुराओ बस बात शबीर को ये आके बताओ बस के माए मादर दिलगीर में जाऊँ कैसे है हिला शाय कासिम है ये हिला शाय कासिम ये बताऊं कैसे कॉल कर गठरी में फरवा को दिखाऊं कैसे बेसहारा को यहाँ कौन सहारा देगा मैं जो रोया तो उसे कौन दिलासा देगा सामने माँ के मैं खुद अश्क बहाऊँ कैसे है ये हिला शाय कासिम है ये हिला शाय कासिम ये बताऊँ कैसे खोल कर गठरी में फरवा को कैसे रन से लौट आएगा कुछ देर में मेरा दिल भर खाक पे बैठी यही सोच 
रही है मादर खाक से मादर का सिंह को उठाओ कैसे है यही लाशाए का सिम है यही लाशाए का सिम ये बताओ कैसे खोल कर गठरी में फरवा को देखाओ कैसे मैं मोहम्मद वाली मोहम्मद सलमान बसमिल्लाम अल्लाम क्या वारिसा अदमा सफ़ोतिल्लामी क्या वारिसा नूहन नबील अल्लाम क्या वारिसा इब्राहिम खलील अल्लाम क्या वारिसा मूसा कलीमिल्ल अल्लाम क्या वारिसा ईसा रूहिल्ल अल्लाम क्या वारिसा मुहमद इन हबीबिल्ल अल्लाम क्या वारिसा अमीर अलमुमिन आलाम अल्लाम क्याबना मुहमद इन मुस्तफ़ा अल्लाम क्याबना अलीमतदा अल्लाम क्याबना फ़ातिमत जहरा अल्लाम क्याबना खदीजतलकुबरा السلام عليك يا سار الله وابن ساره والوتر الموتور أشهد أنك قد أقمت الصلاة وأتيت الزكاة وأمرت بالمعروف ونهيت عن المنكر وأتعت الله ورسوله حتى أتاق اليقين فلعن الله أمة قتلتك ولعن الله أمة ظلمتك ولعن الله أمة سمعت بذلك فرزيت به يا مولاي يا أبا عبد الله أشهد أنك كنت نورا في الأسلاب الشامخة والأرحام المتهرة لم تنجسك الجاهلية بأنجاسها ولم تلبسك من مدلهمات ثيابها وأشهد أنك من دعائم الدين وأركان المؤمنين وأشهد أنك الإمام البر التقي الرضي الزكي الهادي المهدي وأشهد أن الأئمة من ولدك كلمة التقوى وعلام الهدى والعروة الوثقى والحجة على أهل الدنيا وأشهد الله وملائكته وأنبياءه ورسله أني بكم مؤمن وبيا بكم موقن بشرع ديني وخواتيم عملي وقلبي لقلبكم سلم وأمري لأمركم متبع صلوات الله عليكم وعلى أرواحكم وعلى أجسادكم وعلى أجسامكم وعلى شاهدكم وعلى غائبكم وعلى ظاهركم وعلى باطنكم